From the court, to the dugout, to the sideline. Remember, sport is designed to be fun for everyone. From the participants, to the supporters, and even the fanatics. So keep things positive. Be encouraging. Be supportive. Be a legend. This message brought to you by MediaWorks. Hockey Whited Upper, Netball Whited Upper, and Whited Upper Bush Rugby Union. Good morning and welcome to the Childs Ian Persico Show brought to you by White Upper Bush live on Facebook and also YTV. My name's Anton Persico. I'm joined here this morning with Mark the Chin Childs. Good morning, Childsy. How are you? I'm great, Anton, uh, and fresh from the Black Caps victory in the World Test Cricket. Absolutely final. epic. Amazing That's week for New Zealand. Absolutely epic. Now, hey, we bring some uh, pretty grim news. Obviously, we're in uh, Level 2. Level 2. Level 2. Um, Wider Bush Rugby Union has obviously asked no crowd, no supporters, no crowds no, at the events. No crowds. Um, um, oh, the Greytown Martinborough match, definitely no crowd there. But, yeah, yeah. it's a shame, really, um, that that's happened. But we just got to live with it. Follow the rules. Stay safe out there. And let's be positive and hope uh, it stays at level two so we can actually still see rugby and it doesn't go to what, what happened last year too, Chelsea. Exactly. Okay, on, on a positive note, we've still got plenty of cheeseburgers, loads of them. They just keep coming from Andre and Leone from McDonald's and Masterton. And also, Chelsea, we've got some uh, meat pies. We do. You can see Manette and the team there. 20 meat pie vouchers. So, look. I want you to, those supporters who won't be there at the ground this weekend, but coaches and managers, nominate the best tries in your match and pop them yes. down on the uh, the comments below after the game. Uh, the two best tries from each game, those try scorers will get the meat pie voucher from 10 Great idea. You just came up with that right then too. Right then and there. Uh, yeah. Comment below on the best try. Obviously, they were not going to watch the game, so how are they going to... Well, no, the coaches and managers will. Coaches watch. and managers. Yeah, coaches and okay. managers. Okay, okay, done. And you can win... A meat pie. Now, the uh, speaking of sponsorship, I've been getting uh, a little bit of jib out in the streets about um, your lack of sponsorship, actually, Pesco. Oh, really? Throughout the year. And uh, look, Anton's finally come to the party this week. Uh, he will provide a $3.50 coffee voucher for the person who uh, gets picked the score, along with what I'm providing. So, yes. look, yeah. very generous of you, Anton. Th thank Welcome you. to the it's party. It's um, it's I've got another 50 cents to add to that, though, because uh, you can't buy coffee for $3.50 these okay. days. Okay. So thanks it, very much, It's the least I can do. So, pick the score competition is still at $1,500 plus a coffee. From me, um, and we'll tell you what game that is shortly. Now, um, the Lone Star Legend Award. Now, we did give away two this week, uh, last week, um, but this one this week has to go to oh, definitely the Roscoe. goat, Roscoe, the goat. Well, look, we actually messaged Roscoe to try and get him on the show today. Uh, he did reply, but he's jumping on the plane to come home. So, yeah. I'm not sure if he'd been to sleep at all, but. Yeah, what a fantastic night, uh, or five, six days it was, really. But I didn't but, get much um, sleep all week. Yeah, no, there's a few blurry eyes around. There's lots of bags under the eyes, uh, people staying up all night to watch that epic test match between New Zealand and India. And the New Zealand cricket team, they're now um, world-renowned as, as everyone's second favourite side. And uh, especially in India, they are a much-loved side. They're much-loved here, of course, but the way they hold themselves, the way they play the game, uh, and the spirit they play it in is um, quite unbelievable. So... Good also. photo here of you and uh, Roscoe. Yeah, well, that was taken in uh, Dublin. We went across yeah, the, to uh, see Seth make his debut for the Black Caps and, uh, look, sporting the, some chins there. No, the chin looks a bit more manageable than what it does right now. But but anyway, and uh, meanwhile, in Australia, Steve Smith. Yeah, look, <laughs> poor, poor Aussies. I see the captains <laughs> thought India would give us a hiding, but look, egg on the face there, a few look, tears in Aussie. Look, there uh, are, and that's sport. There's winners and losers, and uh, we've got a guest on our show today who we'll get to shortly, James Bruce. Um, who we'll talk to, but let's go through some uh, Facebook epic picks. Now, I'm not sure what's happening here with Bushy, but during a line-out here... Well, I can tell you what's happening. They're playing the finger game. They're playing the finger game, him and Marpasur, during a line-out in the Greyhound match. <laughs> Obviously, best of buddies. What's okay. happening here? Okay, now these guys, this is Dion Mitchell, uh, Rusty and Bubba. Now, these guys um, went out to support their, their local teams yesterday. They drove all the way out to Gladstone to watch the uh, Gladstone East Coast game. However, the game was at uh, Foriyama. They were, they were only 120 k short of the location. They ended up doing a round trip back to uh, Great Town to watch the Great Town Maris game. So you boys, for your efforts, have uh, won yourself a cheeseburger voucher each. But um, you'll probably end up taking this to Burger King to, <laughs> to, to uh, get it back. Oh, rat, eh? Oh, rat. He didn't want to be in the photo, too. He's turned his head in, in shame. Now, there's been some famous faces spotted around the White Apple this week. And, Charles, I'll let you explain this one. Oh, well, the photo says it all, really, doesn't it? Um, that was taken at the uh, Marston Golf Club there. So, so one of my mates, Justin Herbert, sporting a new haircut. Can you pull it down a bit? So yeah, yeah, look okay. at that. 
uh, an extreme likeness there to a North Korean dictator. So, uh, look, just don't be confused when you see him in the street. <laughs> All right. I hooked up with uh, Freddie Mercury during the week as well at the White Swan. Things got a little bit uh, out of control. So, good to see Freddie out and about. And who, how about this one, the new halfback from Greytown? Well, Orlando, like? Orlando Bloom. He's, he's, he's turned Bloom. up into uh, the rugby fraternity. Uh, look at him. Ladies, watch out. <laughs> it's good to see. Now, all the way, our special guest all the way from Brokeback Mountain, um, when, like I said, there's winners and losers in sport, and we're going to the latter side now. James Bruce, welcome to the show. Kia ora, boys. How are we? Kia ora, Brucey. Morena. How are you, mate? I can't, believe you've dra- I can't believe you've dragged that photo up from somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm a professional Facebook stalker, Brucey, so anyone that does come on this show, they should make their Facebook private so I don't get into their photos. Now, Brucey, let's, um, let's have a quick chat here. It's been a really tough year for you. Um, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah it's been a, it's been a, it has been a tough year. Um, shorter season, I think that probably doesn't suit us the best. Um, and we've probably struggled with numbers, as as to have a lot of other clubs. Um, we've got quite a young team, um, and we sort of seem to get like if it wasn't for our our reserve team, um, we would have been in the shit a lot before now. Yeah, Brucey, the Martin Barra side and the Greytown side have a lot to play for this weekend. Um, and I'll just we'll just pull this up here. I don't know whether you're aware of this, Brucey, but um, the Brown family have organised a couple of commemorative jerseys to be uh, um, awarded to each club that can be displayed in the club rooms um, on behalf of Mark Brown um, and the Brown Cup. So I uh, really organised this, and I think it's a fantastic idea um, where they've split the jerseys and, and something for um, the clubs to you know, display it in the club rooms. So that'll be uh, on show on Saturday down there at Martinborough. Uh, not, none of the crowd can see it, of course, but that will be hanging around. Um, but a really good idea, I thought. And look, the Greytown side are expecting a, um, a, a massive performance out of Martinborough. We know you're not particularly fond of the Greytown team and uh, we know what, what to expect. So, yeah, just going to get your comments on the match. Uh, All right, yeah, anyway. we, we, we've prepared um, pretty well during the week. We had a, we went, had a pool session with Russell Gaines on uh, Monday and um, we, we did a – we practised um, – we we practiced a few uh, penalties against us and getting back ten uh, as last time we had um, the certain ref we we uh, had about twenty eight penalties against us so um, we're very aware of that um, and we're geez we're good at getting back yeah Brucey that's a good good point about discipline um, and that'll be a key key part for both teams so yeah you talked about injuries before and. It's bloody hard with, with all the clubs. You know, if you strike a couple of two or three injuries to key players, it's, it's just that depth that I'm seeing that, that's not quite there amongst the clubs. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely agree with that. Um, yeah, and, and, and so it comes down to, I believe it comes down to a little bit of luck as well when you're struggling for numbers like that because um, obviously injuries are bad luck and every now and again you cop a few and yeah, it shortens the job up a bit. So you have to, we call our reserves in, um, which I'm so glad we've got them. Um, and I really, yeah, I think teams would really struggle without them. Obviously, Ekatahuna being one of them. Um, so yeah, it's been a real difficult season for injuries for us. Um, yeah, so going forward, yeah, we just need to get some more young fellas out of school playing rugby from around here. Yeah, yeah, great. You mentioned that, Bruce. I was about to bring that up. The, it seems the link from the, the colleges to the clubs doesn't seem to be there at the moment. And this is one area I believe the, the union needs to look at. Um, we, we've got any comments around that? Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely think there's definitely right there. I, I have a fair bit to do with um, Michael. Uh, and, yeah, it's just something that's lacking in, in a few of the colleges. Um, all sport, all round, suffering a little bit, um, and it's just about getting these these kids out or young adults out there playing. Um, and they don't, I, I don't think a lot of them realise the importance behind being in a team, um, which is what our, like we have, we have 25, 30 guys at training, but we got bloody only half that can play, but the other half just turn up because they want to see their mates. Yeah, exactly, and that's what the What About You campaign is all about, and the union are, are really promoting that, which is great. Brucey, we're going to get you back on uh, later when we start to talk about games for this week, but uh, let's move on to some uh, results 
in the uh, reserves draw, Chodzi. Um, Tuarangi absolutely hammer pioneer, 88 points to five. Um, and that was played on the Friday night. Yeah, Carterton 32 12 over Martinborough. Oh. Martinborough are moving there, though. Um, an awesome game here. 26 yep. draw between Marist and East Coast. Marston and uh, Red Star uh, still looking the goods here. Yeah, 59 7 over the Prowlers, who were, were down to the Bear 15 and. Brady Bingham playing a full game there. Well done, man. Yeah, well done, Brady. Um, and Pukatu, you know, 27-7 over Gladdy. Um, yeah, great win to Pukatu because Gladdy was certainly on the rise there. Cool. So, now, um, um, here, let's have a look at the ladder here because it's starting to get a little bit of divide in this and it's starting to become pretty clear who's going to make this top four. Yeah, there is. It's actually a top six. So so we've got Gladstone down here on sixth place. But the Prowlers are 14, three points behind. East Coast still got a chance. Pioneer and Martinborough may not. But, yeah. So it is a top six in this competition this year. So, okay. um, yeah, it does give those other teams towards the middle, bottom, uh, more of a decent show of making the playoffs. Cool. And that's going to be a great playoff series too. Um, okay, games for this week. Uh, Pioneer, they host Pukatoi um, at Jean Street. Um, Manaburra, they host Greytown. Uh, Gladstone host Carterton. Marston and Red Star host Maris. Big game for Maris in this competition too at this stage against an informed Stars side. And um, Tuarangi host East Coast. So, obviously, guys, no supporters at the game. Um, but I'm sure you'll keep updated on One Up a Bush Facebook page with the halftime scores as everything happens. Okay, the results for the Moose Carpenty Cup round four, I believe, Charlesy. Yes, it is. Yep, uh, from last week. East Coast, yeah. uh, five. Gladstone, yeah. 11. Gladdy in a close one out there. That would have been a, a slugfest amongst those two teams. Uh, I picked the Coasties to win that one, but Gladdy again on their winning way. Um, Greytown 39-10, victors over Marist as the weather packed it in. You were at the ground. Piece yeah, I didn't really watch much of this game, Charles. I found myself inside close to the area that Surely had cold fridges. Surely you must watch a bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really watch much of it, but tell us about how the game went. Oh, I think Marist came out and, and tried to put Greytown off their game a bit, was trying to throw some big hits in there. Uh, but Greytown stood up to that. And, well, I um, believe it was 15-10 at halftime to Greytown. Uh, yeah, it was reasonably close yeah, at halftime. Yeah, 15-10, and then Greytown uh, pulled away and um, uh, continued to show that they are probably the the uh, pick of the teams this year. I would say Tavita Isaac is having an outstanding season. He never gives himself any yeah. points in the 3-2-1, but, my God, um, he is getting better with age. Tavita yeah, I was Isaac. standing inside because um, it was really wet there at Greytown. I was standing inside by the bar area having some oh, refreshments. Really? And I saw Tavita Isaac through the window just run the whole whole length of the field. So that's when I yeah. pretty much switched off. Um, okay, now, how can you say that Pioneer are upsetting teams? You'd think that Pioneer are probably um, uh, definitely favourites for the top four this year. Well, yeah, they're looking good for, for a playoff spot there um, with a, a narrow victory, obviously, up there at Eki. And look, it was a, a pretty physical game by all accounts and... A bit of controversy as always in those tight games. So there always only, seems to be with always, Ekitahuna in the game. Always seems to be. Um, but look, eighteen seventeen pioneer. Well, you know, probably one or two more wins, and, and they're uh, they're in those playoffs. That's right. Now um, twenty six to seventeen, Carterton beat Martinborough. Brucey, do you want to give us a little bit of insight on what happened here? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It was a it was a pretty good game all round, really. Um, we had a reasonable first half. Um, it was pretty wet, pretty average conditions, um, but our ball handling and so was Carterton ball handling was pretty good um, considering those conditions. Um, probably just after half time, we probably didn't front up like we should have, and that was probably when, yeah, when they got on top of us a little bit. Um, we had a couple of curveballs thrown at us before that game as well, but um, so yeah, it was a good game all round. Carterton played well, they're, they're a good all round side. Yeah, cheers, Brucey. Now, let's have a look at the competition table, uh, Charlesy. You can go through this. Yeah, great out on top there. Then we've got Gladstone and Pioneer on 14 points. Marist on 11 to round out the top four. But Carterton knocking on the door there on yeah. 10 points. They're a good side, so they'll they'll be pressing for uh, playoff contention. And Cody's in Kitahuna this weekend will be must wins for both those yeah. two sides, I believe, Martinborough. So, look... Um, yeah, there's going to be some fantastic games again. Shame about no crowds, but um, we won't go on about that too much. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, uh, matches for this week. It's the uh, Dick Nunn Shield up for grabs again. Gladstone host Carterton. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. Who you got for this one? Yeah, depending on weather, I think if it packs in again. Um, Which it's supposed to. I'll be, I'll be picking Gladstone at home with the Dick Nunn Shield to be a little bit too strong in the forwards. They're playing quite a simple game plan, Brucey, at the moment, apparently, and, um, and it's working. Yeah. yeah, I've got Carter in this one. 
Yeah, over to you, Bruce. Working, um, gla- that's the gladi of old, um, and they can they they just keep um, yeah they just get through by the skin of their teeth so many times. Um, mm. Yeah, hard team to bowl with their tails up, and um, Steady Thompson, what a legend! Um, he's still doing the business out there. Pioneer East Coast at home. Yeah. Pesco, what do you reckon? Or Pioneer. I got Pioneer. I picked them at the start of the year. I'm going to stick with them all the way through. Oh, I'll take the Coasties. You know, I always all pick right. the Coasties. All uh, right. Marist versus Ekatahuna at Marist. Well, let's do a die for Eki. They're going to come out, throw the kitchen sink. And so, crucial for Marist, too. Crucial so. for Marist as well. That'll be an awesome game. Ali Payne in control. Brucey, what do you reckon about that game? Marist, Ekatahuna. Uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be a oh, that'll be a tricky game. Where's that being played at Marist? Yes, at Marist. Yeah, I'd have to say probably Marist on that one, um, but not break. knowing not not knowing of uh, any injuries in either team, which obviously, as we know, makes can make a bit of an ish, a difference. Um, but yeah, I'd say Marist at home. Yeah, good point, Brucey, about the injuries. I'll take Eki, of course. Uh, I'm not taking your Marist side. Um, well, Martin by Greytown. Um, the Brown Cup, I'm picking a massive upset, the upset of the year. Martin Borough are going to fire right up here and knock over Greytown. Well, we, we know we're going to get the kitchen sink thrown at us, uh, that's for sure. So the Greytown side have prepared for that this week. So, Brucey, what have you got in line for this Greytown side today? Uh, well, just just the normal, um, some good running rugby, hopefully. Um, and we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll hunt pretty tight together and and see if we can create an upset. It's happened before. Quite a few of the boys that are in the team are well aware of that. Um, so, yeah, and we, and we, we love to hate Grady So, um, like you've said, yeah. Well, I think I said last time I wouldn't, wouldn't even stop to go. If I need to have a shit there, I wouldn't even stop, probably. Um, so we're <laughs> in the, <laughs> It's the battle of South Warrapa. It right. is. There's always a lot of passion. And, uh, look. It's going to be a great game down there. Okay, Charlesy, we haven't even discussed what game the Pick the Score competition is going to be. It's $1,500 plus a coffee for myself. That's my donation for this week. Will we go and Dick Dunn Shield? I, I think, or we go uh, in the Battle I, of South I think we go up here. The Dick yeah, Dunn yeah, Shield? Yeah, we go up here at Gladdy. Okay. Because that's, that's probably the match of the round for me. It is. Uh, other than this game, which is, is going to be very, okay. very passionate. Let's Gladdy versus Carterton is the match of the round. It's $1,500. I don't think plus I need, a coffee voucher. Plus a coffee voucher. I don't think I need to go through the rules. No editing. First score in there. You can't reply to someone. It has to be a fresh comment. Comments below and uh, take this loop because no one's really been close all year. Well, Beachy was close. Beachy was close last, last week. He was. He was. That was a very good selection, but not quite. Sorry, Beachy. Not quite, Beachy. All right. Now, what about you, campaign today? Look out for your mates, Chelsey. Yeah, absolutely. Look. Um, you know, it was Men's Mental Health Week, Awareness Week last week. But the What About You campaign, that, that goes all year, the whole time. You've got to be looking out after your mates. And um, certainly, Brucey mentioned before, um, playing a game like rugby gets you involved into a, a community. Yeah. It gives you a feeling of community. And it's really important that we keep uh, talking about these issues um, for, for men's mental health and awareness. And also, watch what you're drinking. This is really the key message yeah. here, looking after your mates, making sure they're not getting too out of hand. Yeah. For sure, make it definitely. Now, um, guys, thank you very much for watching the show. Be safe out there under level two conditions. Thank you very much, James Bruce, for coming on the show. It's always a pleasure to have you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Got it.